Hi everybody, my name is Shannon. Welcome to my channel, Another Yarn. Thank you so much for joining me today. I greatly appreciate it. You know, one of the things that I have been doing over the last few months now, it seems, it's how, how are we already like pushing on May's door? I do not get it. I've been making blanket squares by a wonderful designer who has made herself available on Ravelry. If you're not, if you're new here, right, and you haven't heard this before, her name is Anne Record, and she is committed to making 52 squares for the year of 2024. And these are big blanket squares, 52. I mean, the amount of design power for doing that and just the, um, that's a lot, that's a big undertaking. It just is. So, I did not jump on the bandwagon on the first week, but I am on my 13th of these squares. So I've been doing it for a while. I'm working on square 18, and this is your reminder, go get your free square. I'll have her information linked down below. So uh, let me show you that. Oh, wait, wait, first. Hey, what do you think of this sweater? Those of you who've been around for a while already know, this is the Plumos Jumper. Let's see, the most yoke sweater jumper. Let's see. So there you go. I did this one um, with the Remix Light. And I forget how many balls I used. It was a surprisingly a lot less than what you would think. I don't know if it was two of the main color and one of the white. Um, obviously not a full. Or three of the main color, one of the white. I don't remember offhand. But um, yeah, really nice. This part, the yoke, this in a yoke is just an evenly increased, a big circle. So you're like making a donut with your head popping through. That was my first time doing something like that. And I'm really pretty pleased with it. I, I really am. I just thought I would go ahead and mention that, that that is handmade. Yes, I did do it. This is a free pattern on Ravelry. Um, again, I'll link that down below. But we're here for the square, aren't we? Oh yes, yes we are. We wanna know about the square. Square is free for one week only. This is square number 18. And I'm not going to lie. I'm excited about this one right here. Let me see if I can get a better picture of it. There you go. A little closer. Not much as much clear. I'm excited about this one. I think it is really pretty. I like the leaf motif that is going out. Here, let me put the, this up here. The way it looks like leaves and everything. I really like that. So you've got some cable action going on and some leaves. Really fun and exciting. The other thing that is so unique about her designs is, look at this. So this isn't showing the actual pattern, but do you see that schematic right there? So what we're doing for the big blanket square is just this one right here, chart A. That triangle right there and we know a square's worked up into four triangles. So you're doing that four times. Okay, easy. And it makes that beautiful square. Now my squares are blocked. This is last week's square. I'm gonna show you, I have started this week, but it's not done. Obviously, I just got the pattern. This is last week's square. This is square number 17. And I blocked this and coincidentally, it's 17 inches square when it's blocked. I was thinking about 16 and a half, but it's 17 and love it. I absolutely love it. I'm using Big Twist Value Yarn. This is the Big Twist, if you're not familiar with it. It is a Joanne exclusive yarn. It's just a basic acrylic. You can use anything you want to. You don't have to use a specific yarn. You don't have to use a specific brand. Whatever works for you. Remember, your square is going to be bigger or smaller, depending on what size yarn you use and needles you use. I'm knitting mine on size eights and using a worsted weight yarn. That's why they are so large. She talks about the squares being about 12 inches. Mine are 17. They work great for what I want them to do. If you're not familiar, just to get an idea for the big twist, it's 380 yards, six ounces. It's 170 grams. It's 100% acrylic, medium weight, number four yarn. And I can get two squares out of one of these skeins of yarn. So really, really like that as far as that's concerned. All right, where was I? I don't remember. Oh yeah, talking about the triangle. So you can see that with the construction, right? Right here. Yeah, obviously a triangle. So the pattern is written up graph format and it shows you how to do that triangle. And you repeat it four times around and 
gee, that makes a square. And if you don't want to do that and you just want to make it once, you've got a triangle. But that's not a shawl, right? If you wanted to make a shawl, just that little triangle, that's not a shawl. Or if you wanted to make this, you really like that particular design for that week, that pattern, the way that the structure goes out, that's not enough. You have a lot of work that you have to do to extrapolate into making it larger. That's where Anne comes in with this chart. Each one of those pieces, she has a chart for using the same pattern schematic so it keeps it very cohesive and how to turn it into either a large shawl or you can continue and do a square blanket. So the amount of stuff that she's put into, and, and it's been in every single one of them, every one, there's 46 rounds of pattern and then you're doing your garter stitch border. Okay. So they're going to all match up nicely. They're going to all work well. Um, use any one you want, right? You don't have to pick the ones that I pick. Now I've been w working with them and just kind of going on and, and doing them as much as I can. Let me, let me get the exact dates because it is free right now. Square 18 is free right now. And I'm going to read to you what she has. And I'll also have that down in the description. So she is making for 2024, 52 blanket square knitting patterns. This one will be free from Monday, the 29th of April. So it's already free um, to Sunday, 5 May, 2024, Paris time. That makes a difference. So if you're waiting until the 5th of May because you forgot, don't forget, go download it now. Do it now. Just, just don't, don't shut me off. Just, just like shrink me. Just, just make me tiny. Just make me tiny and go click the button and go get your free pattern. Um, but uh, the Paris time does make a difference. There, there are quite a few hours. And if you're really kind of pushing it to the edge, you might miss it. But that's okay. You can still purchase the pattern. Um, she also has different things for her for purchasing. Um, she's one of the designers that has uh, discounts for multiple items that you purchase kind of uh, along that line. And it's on her main page for Ravelry that she talks about that. So just fun stuff. Do you want to see? You know I use this color, right? Oh yeah, I did. The last four blocks I did with the yellow because I want to, I want to put a border around them, all four of them, and black border so I can have that yellow and black just really dark. And in that black section, I want to put in um, embellishments. Uh, think flowers and bugs, uh, ladybugs and bumblebees. And I'm not sure how to do the bumblebees yet but I want to do them. And the reason I'm saying I'm not sure how is if everything is already this beautiful yellow and then a black border, and then I try to sew on a yellow and black striped bumblebee, um, camouflaged, it would be very camouflaged. So I don't know if that's necessarily a good idea, but I love the idea of the yellow and the black being the bumblebee themed blanket. So I've got that going on right now. And I kind of look carried away. Look at this. Look how pretty this is. I mean, that is just, look at the stitch definition. Oh, wow. Look at that. And you can see how the eyelets, uh, just as a gentle tug, they open right up. And then these are twisted stitches right here with the knit. And that just makes it pop. It does. It really does. And then the relief with the pearl and all those eyelets. So you can see that's just coming together with that nice heavy line right here at the center. That's going to block beautifully. I'm loving it. Look at that. I mean, how pretty is that? And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm like on uh, row 21 or 22 right now because the first rounds, regardless of which square, go a lot quicker. Go figure. They have less stitches. It's weird how that works. But this is my start. The color for this is Sapphire. So it's Joanne Big Twist Value in the Sapphire colorway. I haven't made it in the Sapphire yet. Um, not sure. So I've got my first so many of them I did in uh, mixed colors. I think I've got a green one and two different colors of red. And I've got, you know, this blue right now. I've got something else. I don't, I don't think I've done any purple. I've done four of the bright orange and four of the bright yellow. So, uh, you know, there's eight right there. So I don't know what the other colors are. I don't remember offhand, but, um, that's the, that's the whole thing is just having fun with the creativity and how, I'm going to use these blanket squares. 
You can turn them into a pillow if you like the pattern. Make it into a beautiful home decor. Definitely use it as pillow. You can put uh, multiple of them together like I'm doing right now and turning them into a blanket. These particular blankets are slated for donation. Am I going to do that for every single blanket square that I make throughout the year? I don't know. I really don't. Um, no clue. I'm having a blast making these so far. And I, I'm like a child. I have to admit it. I am like a child. I, I, I'm i stalking the page when it becomes free, you know, or, or uh, I can look, you can, oh, you can do this too. It's not just me. I don't get any advance warning or notice. No, I have nothing along that line, but I will go out to her page and she will have it listed and for the day before hours. I have no idea. I've not tracked it that heavily. I'm not that much of a stalker, uh, but she'll have it out there so I can see I saw square 18. I saw it. I'm like, oh, that's so great. Not free yet, right? It's, it'll be free later. Now, if I wanted it right then and, you know, it was that important to me, I would have bought it. But, you know, I'm waiting for it to go free. Like, come on, go free, go free. I want to see this one. This is so pretty. So you kind of get a sneak peek, um, advance uh, notice, warning, whatever you want to call it. Of, hey, come back. This one, see, it's pretty. Like it? Come back. It's going to be free. Do you want it? You want it? And uh, yeah, I do that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, I do. So I knew what this one was looking like prior to, and I got very excited. I like the movement. I love the leaves on the outside. You know, it's like, well, an example is last week when we talked about this square, this is square 17. When I did my Tuesday video and was showing in the squares, I thought I was going to sit it out. I really did. Um, I, I, like, I don't, I don't want to make it. It's, there's, there's nothing wrong with it. It's beautiful. Uh, but it's, it's just a very simple square, which, uh, hello, not all of them need to be crazy and outlandish. And I just didn't, it didn't sing to me like some of the other ones do. You know how that works. Well, whether it sang to me or not, still did it. So there you have it. Uh, but this one, this one sings to me. And then with this bright sapphire blue, oh, it's going to be so pretty. I'm really looking forward to getting this one done. And uh, I don't know. Uh, I'll have to check downstairs because I have my big twist yarn and, and uh, shelves and everything downstairs. Um, I don't know if I have more of the sapphire blue. If not, I know where I can get it. And that's okay. Um, I haven't done a Joanne's run in a while. I haven't. I've been good kind of. I Yes, I have. But, uh, you know, um, do I want to do four squares with the sapphire blue and try to do the themed blankets? You know, I've got the orange one and I'll have the yellow one. I know they're not done yet. They're all here, but I'm making the parts. Okay. That's a part. One stitch counts. And in this case, one block counts. We're there so much closer. And it's not like making the little five inch squares, little tiny squares and sewing them all together. And since I'm making these big, huge squares and they're knit, I only have two ends per square. So sewing in ends is an issue. That's not a problem. And then uh, bordering it and everything. Um, but uh, where the ends come in is because I want to do the embellishments. That's self-inflicted and that's okay. Uh, so yeah, I haven't decided with all of the, the new squares what I want to do. And the other part too is... If you have that advance and you know what they all look like prior to, you can mentally pick out, oh, this is definitely yellow. That's a red. This one's a green. That's going to be orange. This one's got to be lilac because, uh, hello, it it's just has to be. You know you know how sometimes the, the design will tell you the color? Um, I don't have that advance, so I have no idea what's coming next, which is kind of fun. I mean, like I said, it's my weekly surprise. Like, oh, I get a new surprise. I get a new block. I do, I do, I do, I do. I don't know if you guys get excited about it, but I do. And the happy dance. Oh yeah, that's real. <laughs> Cause I really do that. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I want a new one. Yay. Let's go play. And, um, uh, and then it's just the deciding of what color do I do next. Um, the first so many of them I was bouncing color to color. And then I decided I would do the theme and, and carry that onto the yellow. But I like that color to color kind of a thing. And it, it's, it's interesting because there's so many blocks that are going to go throughout the year. I can continue to do the chaos with the color. But sooner or later, I'll get two blocks with that. And then three and then four, right? I mean, it could happen. Um, it, it could. Or maybe I do a blanket with just four separate colors. I don't know. Since they're so large, um, I mean, it'll be fine, but 
in my head it's I, I don't know I you know help me out what would you do uh okay, so the yarn's not an issue like I said it's Joanne's yarn I have a Joanne that is close to my work so it's easy for me to hit on the way home from work which is a little dangerous I'm not gonna lie but it's really easy for me to get to and if I didn't want to do that I could do like everybody else and order online and get 12 boxes because Joanne's is weird on how they do their shipping, you know, and then, you know, just have like little mystery boxes and everything coming in, you know, one order, but having multiple boxes going, which scheme did I get today? That might be fun. That's, hmm, that, that might be fun. The, the not so mystery mystery. Yeah, that might be fun. But uh, yeah, so getting more of the yarn in a specific color, that's not going to be an issue. Um, even if I don't have it on hand, if I change my mind and go, I want this, um, most of the colors I have are very bright, childlike, cheerful colors because I swear I've never grown up. Yeah. Yeah. I, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm so chaotic on all my colors and what I do and don't like. It's just, yeah, I'm not growing up. I don't have to. You can't make me. It's not. Just, it's, no. Mm -mm, no. And uh, that's what I do with my hobby. This is, this is it. Oh, one more question. Did you shrink me? Did you, did you shrink me? Did you make me go small? Did you do that? If you're like on an iPad or, or phone or whatever. And did you, did you already download your pattern? Download your pattern. Rose, download your pattern. Yeah, Rose is a friend of mine. She keeps forgetting. She watches my channel. She keeps forgetting. I just, go get it. Go get your pattern. Everybody, go click the button. Even if you don't want to make the squares right now, one of them might click at later on down the road and you're like, oh my gosh, that's perfect. I need pillows. I need a blanket. I need a whatever, you know, and uh, you'll have them. You'll have them when, they, when you're ready. And uh, I mean, again, you can buy them later if you choose to, or you can collect it with me right now. Yeah. And if you make some, let me know. Am I the only one that's actually doing these? Because I've looked on Ravelry and I know that she's getting a lot of downloads, right? Um, but I've looked and not many people are just jumping on the bandwagon making them. Is it the size or are we all busy doing other things? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yes. It's true. Yeah, as I look around my room, kind of. My eyes, yeah. I have to clean my room. Yeah. I think I'm going to go knit some more. That's a thing. I'm just, I, it's a thing. I'm definitely going to go knit some more. And I've got some crocheting going on too. Yeah. It's just, it's more fun that way, right? I mean, it, it is to me. And, and, and I assume it is to you because you're here and you're watching this because um, it's yarn related and we all like yarn. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. Um, yeah. Go ahead. Click the button. Oh yeah. Like surprise. Sur sur blah, 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 blah. Like and subscribe. That would be very helpful. Helpful for the channel. YouTube likes all those wonderful things. It recommends so then other people can see what's going on and they can be told about these wonderful squares and everything else that I find along the way in the fun designs and the patterns and things like that. And you know, make a sweater. You could do it. It's just, you got this, right? Make a sweater, make a blanket. You, you can do it. Make, make some little flowers and things and decorate stuff. It'll be fun. With that, everybody, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. You guys have a great day, night, evening, whatever it happens to be. And I will talk to you again later. Bye-bye.